Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly crave the indulgence to please subscribe to this channel if you are here to subscribe. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. The Center for International and Strategy Studies, CIWS, has blamed the United States of America the United Kingdom and the European Union for the entrenchments or the entrenchments of the nefarious activities of the BH guys in Nigeria. CIWS said the failure of the Western powers to come to the aid of the country in arresting sponsors and promoters of the group is responsible for the elongation of the crisis in the Northeast. In a statement signed by Secretary Dr. Ifure a Taifure. On Thursday said, the center said that the radical Islamist sects have continued to receive external support from foreign countries at the detriment of Nigeria. According to CIWS, instead of joining forces with Nigeria, the US, the UK and the European Union have failed to, en failed to embargo the sale of arms to these guys. The center added that this powerhouse's decision to turn a blind eye on the sensitive area is a deliberate plot to begin the process of recolonizing Africa. CIWS further revealed that French authorities are the most culpable in this regard through the flagrant violations of all known international protocols. The Center for International and Strategy Studies, however, warned countries covertly fueling the BH guys in Nigeria and other African countries to desist. It added that the war against terrorism should be a collective one and foreign nations must block the sales of arms to all these guys. The Center for International and St Strategy Studies wishes to state that the entrenchment of the nefarious activities of the BH sect in Nigeria is as a result of the lackadistical attitude of some of the Western powers in coming to the aid of Nigeria. The United States of America, the United Kingdom and the European Union have all failed to come to the aid of Nigeria despite repeated overtures from the Nigerian government and other critical stakeholders. We wish to state that this attitude is responsible for the prolongation of the BH crisis in Nigeria because this group has been receiving external support from some, exper uh, from some European countries that are hell-bent on the disintegration of Nigeria. These countries have been nothing but uncooperative with Nigerian authorities by its refusal to sell arms to Nigeria for the prosecution of the BH guys and the war. The United States of America, for inexplicably reasons, have also refused to activate the necessary machinery for the sale of arms and ammunition to Nigeria in the prosecution of the BH war. The United States of America, the United Kingdom, and the European Union for inexplicable reasons have refused to block the sales of arms to these guys and all organizations in Nigeria and the African continent. This fact has indeed bolstered the activities of terrorism in Nigeria and other African countries. The Center for International and Strategic Studies views this action as against the provisions of the Global War on Terror, which had as its goal to prevent another 9-11 attack by increasing international security worldwide. The Center for International and Strategic Studies wishes to state that global commitment has not been extended to Nigeria since the BH group began its violent campaign in Nigeria in 2009. The activities of the BH guys and their group has continued with ta tactic support from some European Union countries, 
that have been engaged in wholesome in unwholesome trade in arms and ammunition which the Bokos and other groups operating in the African continent. We attempted to state that this stance of turning a blind eye to the atrocities committed by these organizations in the African continent might be a deliberate plot by these Western countries to begin the process of recolonizing Africa so that it can have unhindered access to its natural and economic resources. The French authorities are the most culpable in the regards in this regards through the flagrant violations of all known international protocols by paying ransoms in huge amounts to these guys or some of these organizations in Africa, which subsequently helps these organizations to sustain their activities. The Center for International Studies, the Center for International Strategy Studies is alarmed to state that despite the efforts of the Nigerian military, the BH group continues to have an unhindered supply of arms and ammunition whose origin has been traced to some European countries. The Center for International and Strategic Studies wishes to use this medium to warn those countries that have been covertly foiling the activities of the BH group in Nigeria and other African countries to desist from the, the nefarious act in the interest of peace and tranquility. This is the time for the United States of America, the United Kingdom, and the European Union to come to the rescue of Nigeria by blocking the sale of illegal weapons to the BH group. They must see the war against terrorism in Nigeria as a collective one due to the strategic importance of Nigeria in the African continent. The time to act is now to bring an end to the activities of the BH sect and other groups in Africa. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? If you look critically at this news, you will know that this is, you know, to a very large extent, you know, there are some truths in what the Center for International and Strategic Studies has said. Well, looking at the situation of things, if all these named countries had come together and given the needed support to Nigeria, by now, this BH sect guys would have been a thing of the past and the activities would have been a thing of the past. But look at what it has degenerated into. Well, another question that we need to ask ourselves, rather than putting blames on the, all these other countries, the issue is that has our government actually reached out to them and asked for their support? Has the Nigerian government actually reached out to them and asked for support, the needed support? Have they gone through the right channels? Because of a truth, Nigeria cannot, you know, handle this alone anymore. We all saw the effect of uh, the engagement by the Chadian army and, uh, you know, some other countries like the Cameroonian countries that shared borders with Nigeria. Why is it that we are not longer hearing the activities of these guys in those countries like it used to be before? But in Nigeria, it has continued, it has continued and it has persisted. It has even degenerated into, you know, banditry, as it were, as we, ex we are experiencing in some part of the north or in the north, as it were, presently. So, a lot remains to be seen and to be said concerning this particular issue. I don't know, and I stand to be corrected if I am wrong, but I think something must have been wrong somewhere, or something must have gone wrong, or there is something that the Nigerian government is actually not doing right, or there is something that they are not saying, or they are not coming out to tell the truth concerning these issues. I stand to be corrected, guys, but guys, how long do we continue like this? For how long will are we going to continue in this way and in this manner? And uh, for how long are we going to be dealing with the issue of the BH sect? If other countries are not, uh, the, the, the mentioned countries, if they are not ready to support or they are not assisting, there are other countries definitely that 
can assist and if we go to them and if we run to them. And I think the federal government of Nigeria needs to do the needful, put their ego behind, drop whatever. If they are sincere in ending the activities of this sect, they need to go the extra mile, put all hands on deck, you know, go all out. And before you know it, within a space of three to six months, if have or highest within a year, the activities of these guys would have come to an end and they would have been massively dealt with. But it remains to be seen if the federal government is strongly committed to ending the activities of the BH sect in the country. A lot of people have insinuated and made claims that the, uh, the, the government officials and the, and the leaders of the country and the Nigerian army and other uh, uh, security agencies in Nigeria are making a huge amount of money from these activities or from this that is why the activities of these guys have remained. It's well it might be true to a very large extent, but making money from this and uh, losing lives daily does it measure up? It sincerely and does not measure up until members of their family are involved before they probably might know what it means. Well it, these are my thoughts and my views. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. I drop out the comment section let us know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now